the morning after a girl has laid her desk. What she does, as you can see, there's these big, almost bulldozer tire tracks that come up on the beach. Now this is where the sea turtle nests. You can see the place where the body was, where she dug out a place to start excavating the nest. And it would usually take about two hours for the whole process to dig the nest, lay the nest, and then cover it back up with the sand. So right here, there could be about 200 turtle eggs. In about three months, they'll hatch. A young woman began a conservation program for sea turtles on Topsail Island. Through protection of the nesting beach, she left a legacy after passing from cancer that was continued on for all sea turtles that nest there. Part of this program includes nest location and protection. But the most important project is a sea turtle hospital located on Topsail Island, which helps sick and injured sea turtles. An initiative to keep the beach clean, free of trash and pollution, as well as limiting dredging and other practices like beach nourishment, has allowed sea turtles to nest here for many decades. In memory of her daughter, Jean Beasley founded a sea turtle center, which has rehabilitated hundreds of turtles. Now part of the International Sea Turtle Society, her focus is on awareness, education, and conservation. All of you for being here today. It is always such a wonderful thing to look out over this group and see those people who have been so dedicated to our mission, which is the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of sick and injured sea turtles. Here on Topsail Island, the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center is releasing 16 sea turtles. These have been patients over the winter. Some have been in boating accidents, some have been caught in fishing nets, and today they have been re rehabilitated to the point that we can release them back to the ocean. It's amazing to see how many people are actually here to help out for the turtle release, and the turtles themselves seem excited. After a pat on the back for good luck, we're all headed to the beach. This turtle center's cause is really understood when you see these turtles that have amputated limbs. Just look at this crowd of people, and they're all here for the turtles. Now this is the moment that everybody's come to see. We're praying the sea turtles down the runway of sand and eventually they'll reach the water. Sea turtle number two in the water. <laughs> but sometimes they can get turned around <laughs> and then it's hard to catch them again. But we really have to get this guy out. <laughs> He's just falling over into the surf. We really have to catch this guy and get him back out into the deeper water. He really needs to be free and in the wild. And this turtle looks like an empress, making her subjects carry her down to the beach.
Now here come the loggerheads. They have these massive heads, and that's why they're named. But it's taking four people to carry them. And we have Navy officers, we have people from the local fire department, and people from the local aquarium all coming to help out with this event. Oh, look at the power in those flippers. Hold on to it, guys. You can tell the turtles are really excited. They're pounding them with their flippers. It looks like it hurts, but they're saying, come on, let's get going. I'm ready to go to the ocean. Whoa, look at that. You don't want to get your fingers in that mouth. And this one's going to be a big handful. You can see that it's taking four grown, strong men to grab Cora. And with Cora in the water, we finished with all 16 sea turtles. It was a great experience. Everybody is happy. Loggerhead sea turtles are disappearing. The number of turtles that nest on the East Coast beaches has decreased dramatically. With each sea turtle, the Sea Turtle Hospital can release back to the ocean is a key part in preserving the sea turtle population.